Alright gang, with Warzone coming out in literally 3 days, 13 hours and 4 minutes, we need the best graphic settings. Everybody needs to be ready for the drop of this map. So that's what we are covering today. We are going to go ahead and cover our graphics and uh, we'll cover audio as well. If you are on PC, uh, obviously these are going to apply to you more. If you're on console, there should be some things I covered that should help you out a lot um, as well. So for display mode, I play full screen borderless. Uh, obviously choose your monitor display adapter is going to be a gpu i have a 3080 ti um gamma i have set to the 2.2 srgb nvidia reflex low latency this is a big one i got a lot of questions on this uh after beta actually when i dropped the settings video on and then you have off on and then on plus boost so essentially if you have a diesel computer if you have a good gpu a good cpu a lot of ram like your computer can hold its own you do not want to run on plus boost that will actually impact your card negatively and the only way i can explain that i have an rtx 3080 ti okay it naturally has an overclock set to itself like I, i'm looking at my computer right here there's a switch on the side of the card that i have set to oc i uh, asked actually asked nvidia about that when i had this card if i should run it overclocked and it absolutely was a hit yes you should run oc if you are playing games the card it's meant to perform under a workload when you put on plus boost though it's gonna fight your card it's going to try to push your card to a, a point where it's going to be so hot it's not going to work the boost will not do it but on works so what i'm getting at if you have a diesel computer 3080 ti 3090 3090 ti whatever 4090 whatever you're rocking you want to rock it on anything under a 3080 ti i'm rocking on plus boost maybe a 3080 if you have a great cpu uh you can run just uh on or i'll run on plus boost uh but i'm saying on if you have a good computer if you don't like if you are still in the 20 series cards on plus boost 100 even if you're like 3060 3070 ti anything like that uh, 3080 I would run on plus boost realistically but for me I'm only on on uh, eco mode presets gonna be set to uh, custom V syncs off custom frame rate limit I have set to 250 so it's really whatever your monitor goes to uh, focus mode I've set to 90 on quality there's a lot to digest here so I'm just gonna kind of scroll through and on important topics I'll kind of cover uh, I play at 1440. If you have a good rig and you're still playing at 1080, you're shooting yourself in the foot, especially for Warzone. Like the difference from 1080 to 1440 in terms of like what you can actually see on the map and how well you can see things was actually a game changer. So do you take a, a loss with frames going from 1080 to 1440? Absolutely. There is definitely a hit with frames, but the clarity and the quality you get of the picture is so worth it like it is absolutely worth it so i rock 14 40 100 i don't have any any issues with it at all a uh, dynamic resolution is going to be set to off upscaling and sharpening i have that set to off vram scale target i've set to 80 uh variable rate shadowing my vrs is on texture resolution is going to be low uh detail quality level i've got set to high that's one of those things that has a very low impact on ram and gpu uh so i like that high because we definitely want some quality in different space on demand texture streaming i have that turned off uh realistically i could probably keep that on uh it, it really doesn't matter I, you could turn that off in terms of like internet stuff like that but for right now i have texture streaming off um let's see high quality texture download from the internet as you play the game provide more color detail and surfaces you can i mean why not bro i'm gonna go ahead and turn that on it's not really gonna affect your gpu your cpu anything like that it's just gonna affect the internet speeds which we are covered in that aspect if you have slow internet turn that joint off uh local texture stream quality is gonna be set to low shadow quality low ambient occlusion low SSR is going to be off. SRQ is going to be set to low. Tessellations on off. Terrain memory is going to be set to max. Uh, this is like allowed memory size for distant terrain textures. If you have this set to max, your game will naturally hold memory for terrain on maps so you, you don't load into a map. Like for Warzone, for instance. You load into Warzone as you run into an area, it's like just spawning in buildings. You don't want that. You want it to be like held in a cache somewhere 
go ahead and set that to max uh, volumetric quality we have that set to low um water quality definitely low bro there's an off like you don't you don't need that like the water does not need to look nice we're trying to rip here we're trying to shred and get performance we don't care about how the water looks bro uh keep that there let's go over to view this is where the bread and butter is so this is going to affect your accuracy um your overall visual like what you can see and honestly your recoil like that's where the accuracy comes in so field of view fov is 120 if you're playing at 1440p go ahead and call it 10 uh 10 less so i'm at 120 with 1440 i'm actually at 110 if i had the choice i would have a full 120 obviously i want a full 120 ads field of view is set to affected so if you set your fov let's just say to 120 and use independent when you aim down sights it's going to bring your game back to the default which is like 60 or something ridiculous but if you leave it on effective when you ads you'll still be way out here it'll still be zoomed out your sights will then be smaller the game will still be pulled back which will give you less visual recoil that was the biggest complaint when verdance came out console didn't have fov pc had fov everyone's like oh everyone on pc is cheating everyone's hacking everyone has cronus no shot bro everyone had 120 fov with affected the affected fov man it's less visual recoil take it a step further weapon field of view if you set it to wide it makes your gun smaller you can see more on your screen the smaller your gun is the less visual recoil you will actually have so if you are set to 120 fov affected and wide that is the least amount of visual recoil you can have in this game if it's the least you can have if you have a decent shot already your shot's only going to get better uh your vehicle field of view set that to wide it makes the vehicle a little bit smaller you can see more around you a uh, world motion blur weapon motion blur off film grain in this game does not give you a boost like it did in modern warfare 2019 film grain should be set to off in this title uh first person camera movement you want that set to least defaults 100 we don't want the camera moving around bro we don't want it shaking set that thing to least and then the last big setting we're going to cover here is going to be inverted flashbang i personally rock this when you get flashed instead of your screen lighting up it goes black it, it's an inverted flash it saves your eyes bro so you're not getting flashed irl because that ish sucks uh, let's go to audio i play headphones i rock astro a50s with the mix amp uh i don't do like headphone bass boost i just rock headphones uh stereo for my output master volume set to 74 because this game is super loud um dialogue volumes at 40 effects at 100 voice chat volumes at 50 <laughs> uh i keep proximity and last words on if warzone proximity chat's too much i'm gonna turn it off again this year because it's just kind of outrageous especially when you're streaming if people stream snipe uh sometimes they're saying some pretty lame stuff um hit marker sound effects i got it set to modern warfare i think they sound clean i like running classic sometimes but the modern warfare hit markers this year sound nice here uh mute game when minimized that doesn't really matter i have that set to off Reduced tinnitus sounds a huge one. So whenever you get hit with a flash grenade or a concussion, there's like a ringing ear in your noise. It's super loud. Go ahead and turn this on. It basically gets rid of that super loud ring. Uh, if you're flashed, you have a chance at, at getting the kill because you can hear the person. If you have all these settings set proper, you know your gun's not gonna go crazy when you shoot it. But you can hear their movement because now you can hear there's no ringing. You might actually get out of it alive um the only other thing i would say is it on interface yes we go to interface and we go to our hud bounds so by default every year everyone's always done this right here what you just saw me do everyone's like oh let's line our monitor or our tv whatever you're playing on do not do that bro all that does is it moves your mini map and like your bullet count as far away from this middle as possible you want this to be as far in as you can possibly get it so when you are playing multiplayer warzone it doesn't matter your mini map is closer to where your actual crosshair is going to be so you don't have to look so far away like if i have three people in a building let's say i'm in a house i got an advanced uav running i don't know what's going on because i'm frying if i get the first kill and i want to look back at the mini map i don't want to have to look all it, it's too much you can almost see it out of your peripheral when it's closer in than being rather far, further out. 
So I definitely recommend you close your HUD balance as much as you possibly can um, and go ahead and apply that. Minimap shape should obviously be square and make sure rotation is on. You'll get turned around quick if it's off. Horizontal compass is on too. I sometimes when, especially on a new map when you don't know callouts, you just throw out a number, bro. That's easy, easy, easy. Obviously we want crosshairs on. Um, crosshair and center dot. Center dot's huge. I know some people don't rock that, but centering is like a, a term used in this game. Basically like how well do you keep your sight ready to go when you're like going through a new doorway, going upstairs, they call that your centering. And if you look at the centering of the best players in the world, it's always gonna be at like center chest level or it's gonna be exactly where they think they're gonna be at all times. Uh, and that's thanks to the dot. Having that dot kind of gives you a better idea. Uh, visual hit markers, obviously damage base hit markers. Yes, you want that on. Uh, telemetry, this is custom. This is gonna be like your FPS counter, packet loss which I get packet loss all the time, but I have like dumb low ping. So I'm never lagging. I don't know what the deal is with that. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Uh, GPU VRAM usage, stuff like that, clock. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn all that off. I just want latency and FPS counter. Um, hardware, stuff like that, keep that on, tips, blah, blah, blah. That's it, gang, look. If you're new to the channel, enjoy the content, I need you to hit that sub button. Crush that like button. I hope you all enjoy Warzone as much as I'm going to. Um, it's exciting, bro. We're three days out. Get it right, all right? For the meantime, go drop some nukes with these settings. Hit me in the comments if you manage to do it. Proud of y'all. Let's get it. Love y'all.